Hi, I'm Gary. My wife Robbie and I live in Southern California, USDA Zone 10A, Sunset Zone 23. Last year in May, I planted a Nube or purple yam bulbul in this spot. I planted a lot of yams in four different places and I wanted to try to see which was the best place to grow them in. It's now June of 2018 and this one hasn't really started to take off yet. I'm going to dig it up and transplant it to another area. This area here is far from water so it's a hassle to water it. I want to put it in a place where I can water it and it's also got some pine trees nearby. Those pine trees are actually got invasive roots in Southern California where we're dry. Pine trees are a problem. They send their roots out to find water. If you're in an area where you get more rain, well, they're not really a problem. But anyhow, I want to dig it up, see what I've got. And this started as a tiny bulbul. So I know there's a yam under here. I had to put a little fence around it to protect it from the rabbits. I simply tied this piece of wire on both sides. So I'm going to take the cage off and I'll see what I've got here. The original bulbul that I planted here would have been about this size. If I left the tuber here, it's not going to grow much more because I've noticed a lot of pine roots have found this area. But I'm going to weigh this tuber and I'm thinking it's weighing a couple of pounds. We'll just put it on the scale and see how heavy it is. I had this yam sitting on my kitchen counter for about a week. It started to grow. I weighed it and it weighs just under two and a half pounds. So it went on to gain about 15 times its weight. It started off just under three ounces. So I'm very happy with the results. Technically, I could break the top off here, or I could cut the top off, eat the bottom and plant the top part. It's got a lot of tubers that are starting to form. Instead of doing that, I'm going to cut the top off this yam that started to grow and I'll show you the difference between the yam and the purple sweet potato that I picked. The yams grow really well under wood chips. Tubers like potassium to grow so to form good tubers you want to add potassium to your soil. The wood chips because they are high in potassium they supply plenty of potassium to the yams so I think that's part of the reason I've done well with them. This is my first year growing them and I'm really happy with what I've been able to produce so far. Yams are probably the most potassium dense food that I've been able to find. I do a lot of reading online. If you wanted to add potassium to your diet, yams are a really good thing to eat. They're about double the potassium of a potato, maybe three times the potassium of a sweet potato or a banana. If you've got kidney issues or you're on a low potassium diet, I wouldn't recommend this. This is a purple sweet potato and this is a purple yam or ube. Purple sweet potatoes are also starchy. They're not as sweet as the orange fleshed varieties. I grow a few varieties of sweet potatoes. I burn a lot of calories, so I grow a lot of food that has calories in it. I grow a lot of things like bananas, sweet potatoes and yams. Anyhow, I'll just move this out of the way and I'll cut up the yams and the sweet potatoes and I'll show you what they look like inside. So that's the yam. And that's the sweet potato. So I've got the yam and the sweet potato. Right now the yam looks purple and the sweet potato is more of a magenta. The sweet potato when it's cooked will cook darker than the yam. The yam will still have that nice magenta violet color 
but it won't be as dark as this variety of sweet potato. This variety is called Purple Passion. I got it from Sand Hill Preservation Centre. I've got a number of sweet potatoes from them and they're good people to do business with. So this I can set aside and let it dry up or I could put some wood ash on it, fireplace ash, and plant it right away. I could do the same thing with the sweet potato. The sweet potato is starting to sprout again. I like to have a variety of sweet potatoes. This one tastes starchy, it doesn't have much sweetness to it all, at all. If you want a sweet variety, you could go with a white flesh variety or a orange flesh variety. With the yams, I just go for mostly the purple variety, although they do come in a white variety. That's Dioscoria alata. These pieces I'll cook and I'll show you what they look like after they're cooked. I grow both because I'm looking for a potato substitute. I don't grow potatoes very well here. I don't have the time to put into them perhaps, or the environment just isn't right for them. This tuber here is about four or five inches long and it's got a vine on it that's about five foot. This vine here on this yam is about six foot long. I could probably plant this the way it is in the ground and it's going to produce, I'm assuming, more than this yam here. So in a year, when I harvest it, it'll probably be at least this size. Sweet potatoes are more uniform and yams are kind of gnarly looking. You can get some yams that are more uniform. So I don't know if I've got multiple varieties. I've got yams and bulbuls from different sources. The bulbuls that I originally got were around this size and they came from a different source to where I got my yams from. That's probably pretty much all I wanted to say about my yams today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to be notified on upcoming videos, go to our channel. Right next to the subscribe button is a bell. Hit the bell and you'll be notified on upcoming videos. With that, thanks for watching and don't forget to eat what you grow.